Rapper Kappa He man the real Godfather The struggle real But we have to go and hold the other Yeah, this man here I'm um, just see some great foot up on tree And he must take up everyone <laughs> Yeah, he can't leave none If he can leave one, he's going to prison <laughs> See what's in? See there? My laugh too! Every single one! Everyone you're going to take up. If you leave one, you're going to prison. Try to take up everyone. Jesus. <laughs> well, you have a few chances. I, I see that simple. Everyone you're going to take up. You're going to take up all of them in my teeth. You leave back to them going right to prison. So, I'm going to show you. Everyone I'm going to do it. fine. I tell you, one bread foot, and you strip the people them bread foot. Cloud. You can't care so much, man. Jesus, peace. So, you put them out or something, you have to take them out. Oh, well, you can't use them out, so. You have to carry them. And the whole way you get it. You have to carry them. You have to carry them. You have to carry them. You can't leave none. Put them in your mouth. That's them, dad. Just don't make your tongue touch it. You take them out, take them out, and some it. Your teeth must get out at least three. I like at least three. They didn't put on their mouth and walk with it or something. <laughs> Happy to carry them. <laughs> you thief, you know what's it, what's it, man? Foot, and you strip Crib and fucker. They want bread food too. And look where they treat, huh? Hmm? Go for one and go for the whole, whole of people in the backside tree. You better find every yeah, ass care of them. You can't touch it. Everybody you can't touch it. You? So try to take up. Bend down and walk them out. Bend down and carry You have to carry them. I'm going to cry down the tail. What ya? Yeah? Nah, leave none. So, nah, leave none. <laughs> when they just leg on them, they put them. But what do you hell, man? Nah, what is? None. See? How are they? See? Dangerous man. What a dangerous man. See? They're not leaving none. <laughs> huh? Not even one What's can the drop. Huh? This man is dangerous. I have one bird foot pulling away. I'm gone with it. Yes, dangerous man. The man don't plan to leave, Nenny. <laughs> and he gone with everyone. I'm about to yes, fuck leave. Yes, go. No, I can't have laugh. When you know one, one, you go and go pick one or probably two. No, leave none. See but now all three. Dangerous man, man. When I make your knees, I can't. Put one you can one dozen bread foot in hand. And the one to make one dozen thirteen, he got it into his mouth. Dangerous man. Hmm? Your teeth, you know, as it was it, not you. You don't want to leave no evidence. This no evidence. Dangerous. Really dangerous. Make it dark here, all the evidence, them. Yo! He struggles! What do you say about this man here? This man said get a Grammy Award. Yes. Mm-hmm. Get a job none. Yo, camera man no use me there, you know. Can't be one that's got a blood clot jail. This man here, he win a million dollars. Don't drop none. Right down there going with it. Yes. Walk faster, that's a rich way you go faster. Dangerous man. Alright, go right down, right down, don't stop. Me <laughs> <laughs> crocodile tail! One scorpion just sting me! No! Me swan cat run from a mouse little while! I swear! One dog bite, one rooster! Yo! He struggles! It's what? Yeah! It's real! Hello everyone! My name is Keisha, and I'm here to give you guys a few messages that the Lord gave me. About two months ago, I had this dream where the Lord gave me, the Lord appeared in the dream and he gave me a box. And the box was very narrow, so I thought it was a pen that was in the box, and then I said, Lord, what is this? And he says, open it. And when I did, when I did, 
it was a watch that was in the box and the watch was blank and I said Lord it's not working and he says yes it is working and And on the watch, there were three sections, the hour, the minute, and the second. And the minute and the second part blinked, but the hour part was left blank. And I said, Lord, what does this mean? And he said, time. Time is running out. And he said it three times. Time is running out. And in the dream, I started looking into myself and I started wondering, am I living a life that is pleasing unto the Lord? You know, I started to do some self-examination. And I woke up out of the dream and I started praying and, you know, repenting, wondering if everything was okay, you know. And then I told a few persons and a month later, the Lord appeared to me in a dream again and he said, he took me to a church that I used to attend before and he showed me them worshipping and he says, look at the, con the, the congregation. He says, look how big the congregation is. They are worshipping, they are praying, but they are not sincere. And he showed me everybody in the church. He said most of them, most of them weren't sincere. And he says to me, this is not happening only in this church, but in every single church. People are worshiping, they are praying, but they are not sincere. They are not sincere. And I woke up out of the dream, and as usual, whenever the Lord speaks to me, I would do some self-examination and I would pray and stuff like that. And then no, a week later, the Lord gave me this vision where in the vision an angel appeared to me and the angel had a note said that God gave God gave the angel the, the message to give to, to give to me and the angel was reading from the note that God gave, that God gave them. And the angel said to me, God, no, sorry. The angel said, the Lord says, tell the nation that judgment is real, that hell is real, and that heaven is real. And it is now a time of repentance. And I said to the angel, why God always giving me these messages and I am not able to get it across to the nation? And the angel said to me, because you are one of God's mouthpiece, that's why the Lord always giving you these messages. And I said, okay. When I got up, I, 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 I was thinking about it, I was praying, but I, I felt I felt so shy to go out there and talk to people and, you know, so I, I shoved it to the side. I didn't say anything to much people. I said it to a person that I was used to, but the Lord instructed me to get it across to the nation, but I didn't. And then the Lord started using people to talk to me and saying that if I don't get this message across to the nation, then all those people who were supposed to hear this message, their blood will be on my shoulder. And then that's when I started taking it seriously. And I said, okay, but what am I going to do that time? You know, I was there praying, asking God for mercy and some earlier on this week now, the Lord gave me a vision, and the vision was about me being so stubborn. He was telling me how stubborn I was, and 
It was showing me how stubborn I was and I got up out of the dream and I was there praying and asking him to give me the courage to go out there and do his work and stuff, work, stuff like that. And then last night he gave me a vision and in the vision he was talking to me. He says to me that, tell my people to repent and I am on my way. And I said, okay. And he said it three times. Tell my people to repent. I am on my way. And he gave me the same dream three times. To tell my people that to re that they should repent and I'm on my way. He's on his way. People, this is not a joke thing. When people come to you and they minister you, minister to you to you about God, and they say, you know, repent, be saved, forgive. There is no sin a small sin. When people tell you repent, repent, repent. God, God is warning the nation to repent. So I just want to encourage all of you who watch this video, please repent. Repent. I'm just doing it because I don't want anybody's blood on my shoulder. I don't want the Lord to hold me accountable for, for not bringing across his word. So please, people, repent. And I'm asking you, please, to, to send this to whoever you can, as many persons as you can. Please, I beg you in the name of God, please. Have a blessed day, all right? Bye. God loves you. Shalom. <laughs> The struggle is real. Arr! Rap up rapper represent for Jam Style. Just go and check out www.jamstyle.com. Rap up rapper official sponsor, jamstyle.com. Get your t shirt now.